Hey guys, I just want to thank all of you for all your support while I went through the surgery and I am doing so much better. I have gone back to do readings, but I am doing them uh, gradually. I mean, I'm not overloading myself. I'm trying to take care of me. Uh, I plan on doing the February monthly, uh, which will follow this uh, short video. Um, and I'm kind of skipping around with all my different cards because my spirit guides want me to give the regular tarot deck a break right now. Uh, I do occasionally use them in my readings, but for my videos, they want me to have a little bit of fun with like tarot oracle or just oracle. And eventually I will be bringing back the tarot in it. But either way, no matter what the deck is, it's the messages that come from the cards and from spirit that count. So I look forward to uh, connecting and again, thank you so much for all your support. Blessings. Hello, my fellow Aquarian friends. How are you? Happy Valentine's. This is February 2019. General love reading. Thank you everybody for all your support. I am reading, uh, well I'm actually using Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Darlene Virtue and Radley Valentine. I have so many cards, so I think I'm going to uh, go through maybe different ones every month. But these happen to be one of my favorites because I just love the photos. Um, I'm a really a big photo person, so I like to read the energies of the photos. I like to get the messages from spirit of the cards besides the spirit of the universe. So this message, these messages are for Aquarius. I think I can stop shuffling now and let's see what we've got here so we've got the king of michael wait i think my cards no it's actually reversed and we have the justice card crossing you we've got knight of michael Queen of Ariel. Sorry, I had to look at the cards. Like, what are they doing here? Oh, New Beginnings. We love that card. Four of Michael. And the theme, which is also reversed, is the Knight of Gabriel. Okay, so it looks like right now some of you feel like your world's upside down when it comes to love. Okay. Um, the Justice card crossing the King of of Michael which happens to be reversed but um, I'm just going to kind of show you uh, the card upright uh, I think right now it's basically calling upon higher source calling upon your higher wisdom here uh, to make uh, important decisions I'm feeling in regards to relationships okay this can also have something to do with a lawsuit or a legal matter um, but it's important that you, um, I guess the, the word for it that I want to use is not to overly react, to try to walk into this um, smoothly, as smooth as you can be anyways. Uh, because if you do react, you know that I feel like that's something you could regret regret later, Aquarius. And I don't, I don't want to see you in that position. Um, this can heal it can heal it calls for communication though it calls you forward to uh, you know discuss things openly uh, below you you've got the knight of michael um, this is of course reversed and it's telling me that things are not moving as fast as you would like them to move um, now this doesn't necessarily have to just do with love although that's what i'm feeling with the king of michael but it can also have something to do with maybe a lawsuit you've got going on or it could have something to do with uh, waiting for a promotion or getting a project off the ground. But, but what I'm feeling is it's not moving right now. And so that happens to be um, on your mind. Okay, so, you know, you could be also Aquarius, rising Aquarius moon here, but I just feel like you're just dissatisfied with yourself. Some of you are just dissatisfied with yourself. You're dissatisfied how things 
uh, have been moving. Um, I just feel like for some of you, it's part of your ascension and that it will calm itself down as you move forward into 2019. Try to focus 2019 as not necessarily getting everything up off the ground, but to create an amazing foundation, one that is balanced and grounded. What's behind you is the Queen of Ariel. Okay, so some of you just need to... Uh, this is what's actually moving behind you, but I'm not going to bring, I'm going to bring it forward just a little bit. Okay. Cause I want to talk about this card. This card's about nurturing. This card's about taking care of yourself. Okay. It seems like you're busy taking care of, or you were busy taking care of everybody else that you completely forget about yourself. Okay. And it's important that you nurture yourself right now and, um, you know, connect Connect back to your loved ones. I feel like there's a bit of a separation going on there. Maybe there's been some loss of touch, of feeling here, uh, because maybe um, some of you have felt just totally disconnected uh, from things, you know, disconnected from your environment, from your home, from your family. Um, I'm also getting to this could be somebody in the family who you might be having a bit difficult uh, difficulties with. Maybe they're not resonating or vibing the same way uh, you are. And, and, and so, you know, plans or communications just not where you'd like it to be. What's good, what's coming, what's above you here is the new beginnings. This is Archangel Jeremiah. And um, this is about starting something new. Okay. I mean, for some of you, you might just be picking up and starting a new life, especially after this um, relationship is so-so. You might decide you want to just get up and, and, and go. For some of you, you might say that this is enough. Um, but there is a new beginning here. And uh, I also feel like for some of you who are in the midst of, you know, putting your careers together, I think it's finding... Uh, coming finally to I've got my purpose maybe you even have it now but you just don't know how to uh, make it rock solid maybe you just don't know how to ground it okay and I, I, this card's telling me that you're going to find that way um, also too I've, I, this has something to do with letting go of the past but giving it one quick review before you let it go okay remember I feel like you shouldn't have any regrets here uh, whatever your lessons were they are and what's before you is the four of michael and uh this is about uh just you know kind of quieting the soul quieting the mind quieting down a bit here so things can come to the forefront and your mind's not just like click 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 chitter chatter chitter chatter you know to where you're just like you, you can't see what's beyond uh you know all this that's in your head and you know the base here which was the knight of gabriel which is reversed um again you know i was talking about how you're kind of disappointed that things aren't moving as quick as you'd like them to or you just feel like you're kind of stuck you've got some stuck energy here so that's going to change though i really do focus more on the positive things quieting quieting your mind and focusing on the things that you want to begin new relationships you know new jobs promotions um you know just a new career you've got all this ahead of you so just you know try to stay focused let's, let's get a, um, a few love cards here Aquarius 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 it's your birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday too, February. Happy birthday, Aquarius. So we've got something that's going to happen very soon, but let's see what that's going to be. Let's get these cards up. Okay, Spirit wanted me to pull out that reconciliation card. I'm just going to lay it right there because that wasn't actually going to be a third, but it was stuck to the other card, so that's when I'm... Oh, this fell out too. So here, I feel like it's like some of you are like hoping someone from the past just kind of comes back 
clicks with you. You had a great chemistry with them. You know that there is a connection beyond what physically both of you can, or at least one of you can understand or comprehend, or at least pretending that they're not understanding or comprehending. But I do feel like that that chemistry was really good between the two of you. It's also telling me too that some of you can meet some really good partners, good friends coming up in the future that really um, have a lot of passion and compassion, that really care about you, that just kind of want to share all these beautiful um, things in the moment. And um, I feel like that's coming for a lot of you Aquarians, but definitely too, I feel like that there, there's hope here. I feel like there's hope coming from your heart that somebody that you were involved with in the past, it could have been recent, could be further in the past, is coming back, that's your hope. You know, looking at these cards, I, I want to say that, yeah, there's a chance that this can happen. You know, nothing's ever really written in stone. And plus, the person can return and you can say, well, no. Or they can say, no, you know, we're still at the same place we were when we broke up. And so, you know, they may decide not to do it. You may decide not to do it. So, you know, nothing's written in stone. All right, great to connect, Aquarius. Have a wonderful February. Blessings.